Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can tell by the title, I wanted to talk about third trimester must-haves. And I just had, if you're new to my channel, then I'll let you know that I just had my son five weeks ago. And I had a very miserable pregnancy towards the end. And I was due in August, so it was very hot. I was extremely swollen. So here's just kind of the things that I thought were helpful to have on hand while I was pregnant. And then also if you were pregnant in the summer, it's definitely some good items and good advice. And if you have been watching me for a while, then you've probably seen most of these items throughout all of my pregnancy updates. But I thought I would just bunch them all into one video. And there's not very many things. I think I have a total of eight things to talk about. So it should be pretty sweet and simple. The first thing is a exercise ball or a, I think they have like pregnancy balls, but I just got an exercise ball. So this one is just like a big size. I ordered it from Amazon. I think it was about $10, so not very expensive at all. And it was really great because I had a lot of pelvic pain and hip pain and I would come home and just like roll around, um, sit on it and roll my hips around on it and it really helped. It was um, similar to kind of being in a swimming pool where the weight is kind of, gravity isn't pulling you down. When you're sitting on this ball, it kind of helps just take that pressure off of you. So I found that really helpful to have a ball and also if you are nearby a pool and it's summertime, the pool is great for relieving that pressure down there. So that's the first thing. Next thing is a pregnancy pillow. Um, when I first got this, I kept not knowing whether or not I needed it because they are expensive. So I kind of waited, I think until I was about 20 weeks pregnant to purchase it. And when I first got it, I didn't use it as much until the end. So it was definitely needed for my third trimester. It's kind of dirty, it's dusty. But I got the C shape one. So as you can tell, it's nice and big and it's shaped like a C. So I really loved having that. I would sleep with it. You have to sleep on your side towards the end. You can't sleep on your back. Definitely can't sleep on your stomach. So you have to sleep on your side. And I would just put it between my legs and then put the top part as my pillow. Um, and it was so comfortable. Just like, I don't know. You just have so much pressure. At least I did in between my hips. Every time I woke up to go to the bathroom, my hips would just pop and it was kind of on the inner thigh part that would pop. So there was just a lot of pressure and a lot of muscle separation down there that this pillow really did wonders with my sleep. And if you can hear like a shushing sound in the background, that's my baby monitor. I have, um, my son is upstairs in his crib taking a nap and I have the baby monitor going and I use like the little shushing machine to calm him down. So that's that is hopefully it's not too distracting. Okay, next are slippers. I found these to be extremely helpful during especially during my last trimester, but even throughout my whole pregnancy, your feet like you just are carrying so much more weight that it's like I just felt like I needed an extra cushion under my feet. Like I just felt like my feet were so sore coming home from Working all day, even though I don't work on my feet, it was my feet were just so sore. So being around the house, I loved having a soft slipper. These are from Amazon, and I will try to link things below if I can. My body pillow was from Groupon, so I don't have a link for that. So these slippers are by the brand Isotoner, and they are really nice and cushy. They're so worn in and gross. Like I wore the crap out of these. Um, I got the thong style because I was pregnant in the summer, so I wanted something that would not make my feet hot. And also with my compression socks, which I will get to in a second, these were, um, I was still able to wear these with those as well. Um, so these are great. Any kind of slipper really, you just want to make sure you get a lot of cushion and just something really soft and supportive. So I really liked these a lot. Next, I will talk about my compression sock. So since I was pregnant in the summertime, my feet swelled up like huge balloons and 
really I they were humongous I didn't have any way to make them go down I did wear compression socks and they helped a little bit but I think without these tights um, I don't know what would have happened because when I, I wore these and my feet still swelled up but when I didn't wear them my feet were ten times worse so the ones I got um, again from Amazon it's where I get most of all of my things um, so these are just nude color. I only wore mine at home. I did not like to wear them out of the house. I thought it was just embarrassing, so I never wore them out of the house. But they have a spot for your ankle, so you turn them inside out and you um, get your ankle lined up with them and then pull them over your, your feet and your legs. And they are open on both sides, so I would pull the bottom foot part all the way down right to my toenails, like let no skin show because if you, when they start to slide up, which they didn't really, but sometimes they would, and you would see like my foot would just start to swell outside of where, wherever this stopped. So I would try to get it to the very edge of my feet, and then this goes up your calf, and it just helps um, kind of trap the blood from flowing all the way down to your ankles and toes and feet, because that's how they get swollen. So these were also super great. I'm sure they make different kinds. These were a cheaper kind, I think maybe $20 or something. I know they make pairs that are up in the 70s. I think these are a must have if you have swollen feet. Next is obviously maternity clothes. You need just easy stuff that you can just throw on, especially in the summertime. All I wanted to wear were just like sleeveless dresses, just nothing touching me. I just wanted to be totally comfortable. So here's an example. This is from um, Motherhood by Jessica Simpson, and it's just a tank dress, and it's just like a tent. It's just big and flowy. So I found a lot of great stuff at Motherhood. Um, they don't have like the cutest stuff, but they have really practical stuff, and you can get good deals with their coupons. And then Pink Blush Maternity was my number one favorite place to shop. It's online, and I got so many great dresses from there. Um, if you sign up for their emails, you can get all different kinds of promotions. They have tons of different promotions, so I only purchased from them when they had a big sale going on. But you can get great dresses, and then most of their dresses I'm able to wear now after being pregnant as well because they were just kind of like bigger flowy dresses. But then they also made some really cute tight like ruched ones and just all kinds of things. So definitely check that out if you're pregnant. Next are sandals. Again, with my feet being so swollen, I could not wear regular shoes. And side note, I still can't fit into some of my regular shoes. I am probably, I probably like grew a size. I think sometimes they say your, your bones and muscle tissue and everything expands in your feet during pregnancy and sometimes it doesn't go all the way back to the way it was before. So I think I'm actually a different size now, which totally sucks because I have so many shoes. But I'm going to continue to just squeeze my feet into them. But during pregnancy, I could not get my feet into hardly anything. There were only two styles of shoes that actually worked for me. The first one is Birkenstocks. And they don't necessarily have to be Birkenstock brand. But these kind of shoes that have the buckles were great. Um, they have some good support for your feet. And then also you can just adjust the buckle straps to like the very last strap and make them nice and loose. And the other shoe that really worked for me are the Sanook Yoga Mat Flip Flops. And these are pink. I ended up buying black, pink, green, and leopard print. I only got to wear the leopard print like one time because I was, I got those right at the end, but I can still wear them. Actually, I've already worn these again since being pregnant because they're really comfortable. So they're just like a stretchy, elastic um, fabric sandal. And then the, the, the sole is like a super nice cushion. And it just really feels amazing on your feet. I still did get like, like my feet would swell up around the elastic. And it would leave indentions in my feet. But they were the only shoe that really fit. And they also are like, the, the Birkenstocks are more bulky. So these are nice and flat. So they went with a lot more options for work. So I really recommend these for pregnant feet. 
Next is bras. So you want to make sure that you have comfortable, big bras. <laughs> like there's nothing sexy about it. You just like, I had, um, I was wearing wire bras in the beginning and like as soon as you start growing that bump, you do not want to wear a wire bra because the wire really digs into your rib cage and will really start to just dig into where your um, bump starts to grow. So what I got were just some great, um, like totally wireless, soft, molded bras. I just got these from Target. Um, the brand is Bali. They're just basic. I had one in black and one in nude. And I also got a size, a, went up about one or two sizes in the, the band so that it's nice and loose. Next is a maternity band. This one I got from, of course, Amazon. It's just a nude band and it Velcros. And I don't think I have a, it says AZ Med on it and I will try to link it below. But this is just great for back support. So getting home from work, I didn't like to wear this out. Some people would wear it underneath their clothes, but you could see it under all of my clothing. So I never wore it like to work or anything. But when I got home from work, I would put this on and it just gives you a really great back support. Just like your lower back can just start to ache when you're carrying all that weight. So you just wrap it around. This part goes in the front and you just wrap it around, it's completely adjustable, um, and you kind of put it down on your hips, and it really, really helps. And the last thing is rest. So you just wanna make sure you're getting a lot of rest, especially in the end. Number one, it's the last time you're gonna get that kind of sleep by yourself before you end up having to wake up at all hours of the night and take care of another human. So you really wanna get your sleep, and what I noticed with me was I worked, my plan was to work up until 40 weeks or up until I had him. And at 39 weeks, it was exactly one week before my due date, I was told that I needed to be induced because I was so swollen and just my blood pressure was high and that the baby needed to come out. And it wasn't necessary, he didn't need to. It wasn't um, a medical emergency, but it was just my doctor thought it would be best. And I decided that I wanted to wait, I wanted to have a natural birth, and I was afraid that doing a induction could cause a C-section or some other kinds of problems. So I decided to wait and decided to take off that last week of work. So doing that just changed my world. Taking off that last week of work, I my blood pressure was no longer high, my feet were not swollen, I was so relaxed, I felt prepared, and I just I just rested every day. I just I would put my feet up and just relax. And that is the best thing. And going into my delivery when I actually went into labor on my own on my due date, my doctor said, huh, I should have let you get off or I should have made you take off work a long time ago at like 36 weeks. And I was like, yeah, we should have done that. So if you have the option to take off work or just to rest, you know, if you have children already, um, to hire some extra help around the house, stuff like that, just to give yourself the rest that you need in those last few weeks because it really makes a big difference in your health and in your mindset and it just is so, so much better to just rest and relax before the baby comes. So those are all of my items and tips for surviving the last trimester of your pregnancy. Thanks for watching, bye.